Well, hello again from Kingston. Last week in southern Ontario, we suffered a severe weather event which left 10 people dead and thousands without electricity. There are people on the site today who are still without power. So let's think about them as we watch this week's update, which was blessed with great achievements and a rather damp Friday. Thanks for watching. Returning from a long weekend, you know it's going to be a good day when the box to catch the concrete grout moves out onto the causeway. When you see the concrete pump truck move along as well, and a succession of ready mix trucks arrive, you know it's going to be a really good day. Once everything was in place, Tuesday's pour was all about delivering concrete to form the walls that are on the sides and divider of the steel span. The concrete generally was delivered directly from the pumper arm, but in a few cases, a handy little device called the Danuser Mega Mixer was used. This compact equipment both maintains the mix of the concrete and pouring from either side delivers it to precisely the right location. Nearby, as they received yet another load of reinforcing rod, the workers of ABF were busy completing the installation of the same on spans 16 and 17. Once these are complete, only spans 21 and 22 on the east side will need attention. Speaking of the East End, Sousa Ready Mix did some very fine work this week, refining and completing concrete work on and around Gore Road. With some excellent outcomes, Wednesday dawned bright and clear, providing excellent conditions for yet another concrete pour on span 11. For this pour, the Gamaco machine was pressed into service. Once again, the pour went really well. Success, of course, depends on the closely coordinated actions of an excellent team. This retiring view shows both last week's pour under the tarpaulin, this week's the lighter grey, and how much remains to be done. There's been activity around the west abutment for some while, and survey preparations and the delivery of rebar made it clear that something's going on. Sure enough, on a very wet Friday morning, the dedicated iron workers of ABF were seen installing rebar in the abutment. The conditions were considerably different from those they'd enjoyed earlier in the week on spans 16 and 17, where they've been doing a remarkable job. And if we're talking about remarkable work, let's not forget the night shift, who are present five nights a week, Sunday through Thursday, completing work started by the day shift, or creating the conditions for the day shift to enjoy greater success the next morning. It's a different environment and not everybody's cup of tea. But this shift plays an important role in the overall scheme of things. We all owe them a vote of thanks for their work. Returning blinking into the daylight, Thursday saw yet another concrete pour on this occasion to fill the joint or diaphragm between spans 10 and 11. So dense and tightly packed is the reinforcing rod that at times it has to be prized apart to allow the pumper arm to access the space. Leaving concrete work aside and turning to Gore Road, early work by Linkline Fence 
had created the situation by week's end where the fence posts were all in place and they were preparing to weld the fillets that will hold the crossbars. Finally, before we go to wildlife this week, we have to acknowledge all the work that's been performed by the Tomlinson team, clear up the sidewalks and the library car park. It's all been quite a saga. And the final efforts on Friday morning were rather damp, although that does help compact the gravel. Going into the weekend, I think it's not unreasonable to assume that before very long, we're going to see some paving action. And with that, let's go to wildlife. So that's another week under our belt and we're getting closer to the end with some remarkable landmarks being passed on the way. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd ask you please to consider joining the, uh, the group and that will make sure that you receive notifications and are kept up to date. Thanks for watching again and bye for now.